Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we are going to take a look in on the Eat My Shirt bin, which we have been migrating out of the castings. So I thought we could take a look and see where we are and start pulling the castings off of this bin so we can expand it back out again. This bin was only done with uh, European night crawlers, red wigglers, and blue worms. And they have been eating t-shirts for about six months now. And the castings finally got to the point where they were ready to harvest. So I've been putting the bedding and the food over on this side, hoping they will move out of these castings so that I can get them out and get the full width of the bin started again. So I'm just going to pick out anything large on this side and of course any worms if I see them. And then I will just let these castings dry out a little bit more so I can sift them and I'll put the cocoons and whatnot back in the bin here so they can continue on with their with their family. But it looks like we're doing pretty good. I'm not catching a whole bunch of worms uh, doing this, so it seems like the migration is being successful. As I go deeper here, uh, we might be in a different story. So of course the top is a little bit dry and they prefer it to be more moist. And of course they will have the opportunity to get out later as well when I do my sifting. So let's start doing some flipping here. Still not seeing a bunch of worms. That's really great. I didn't have this high hopes for this bin to be depopulated already. I figured they would uh, take at least a month, but uh, you're reading my mind. If you guys want new bedding and stuff, you have to get out of the old stuff. I am seeing some little worms. They may have hatched over here. Might have spoke too soon. But like I said, these will have an opportunity to get out uh, when I do the sifting as well. But all in all, they've done a really good job of exiting the, the finished material. Some people might be thinking this is not very finished, um, but I tend not to let it go forever. I do um, harvest a little bit early and sift it and put the what I call the leftovers uh, back in the bins. So there are cocoons in here, etc. And those will come back to the bin or a bin when I've managed to get them all sifted and whatever's left over comes back. And the cocoons and the baby worms are part of that uh, system or procedure or whatever you want to call it where they They'll leave the bin for a while and then they will come back. But for the most part, these guys have done a really, really good job. And uh, so then we can actually put the rest of the bedding in here and uh, get this whole bin started again. So this took about six months uh, to get from paper and t-shirts down to where it needed to be harvested. And that's pretty typical of my bin. Alright, well let's see what we've got over here now. Now that we're done playing with the uh, harvesting portion, let's see what the rest of the worms are doing. Ooh. Oh, okay, well it looks like we got a worm ball. Yeah, there we go. We got regular worms and pot worms and it's a party. You can 
can see the pot worms on the avocado shell there. But they're helpers. We don't have a problem with that. We don't really want them to take over the bin or anything, but the shirt's making some nice progress here. Flip everything back over. Looks like I got a good amount of worms in here, so that's good. I'm also seeing some leftover food, so I'm not going to give them very much food, but I am going to get them some more bedding. Put the t-shirt back in. It's not even really t-shirt shape anymore. It's all bits and pieces. But let me get them a little bit of food. Oi! Okay, that's not, they're not getting all that. Probably break that in half. Rice? Donations from CC, so I don't always know what I'm getting. Yeah, it looks like rice. And grapes. Probably less. Let's not do that much. All right, let's get that incorporated. Spread out with those grapes. I don't really want them all together and fermenting. So kind of spread that out a little bit. Let me get them some grit. I usually add the grit in with the bedding but I've been behind on my shredding schedule, so it is what it is. We will make it work. All right, so if you like this kind of project, I have a link for all of my worm bin experiments for the playlist, and I can put that at the end here. If you want to just see what this one is doing, I can put the link to that as well. Today we're going to look and see how the progress is going on the migration out of the no-grit bin. So I see we're, we're having a little bit of some sprouts going on here but let's let's see how they're doing over here I'll move the t-shirt and we'll see how many takers we've got moving into the new bedding where the new food is so I'm I'm seeing some oh wait there yeah so it looks like they're getting into the pieces of melon that were in here kind of flip that over so good, they are moving over. So let's take a look at the other side where it's probably very dry. I have left this part completely uncovered. Seems like it's been, I think, a couple weeks now. I'm not really seeing any worms here. So that's good. That is good. So I can get these castings out of here and then now that the worms have moved out I can let them dry the rest of the way and we can finish this bin off. So I'm just going to transfer all of these castings to an empty bin that I have here. Then when they are dry enough for me to sift then I can harvest those castings. I am probably about a month away from doing some seed starting, so I will have some uses, you know, for some new castings. I'm trying to be a little careful to see if there's any worms here right on the periphery of, yep, had a feeling there'd be some uh, latecomers, but I will, in fact, sift this out and I'll do a fine sifting on it to get any cocoons or baby worms out. Oh, there's one. Alright, we'll get that out of the way. Then we can, this little bit of castings, that'll be fine. We'll just spread this out, turn it over, see what these guys are doing. Right now these are not part of the no grit bin. This is the end of the no grit bin. So this is just going to become a normal a normal bin where they will get food and bedding. And we'll, we, we will restart the no grit bin with just paper that doesn't have any grit in it. 
All right, these guys look like they have enough food for right now. The moisture looks like it's doing really well. And so I am not going to feed this bin, which is now no longer the no-grip bin. We'll give them back their t-shirt. Kind of keep the moisture in there for them. And pick up the stragglers that decided to jump off. All right, well, that was the end of the No Grit Bin for 2021. If you like the playlist and you wanted to see more about it, I have a playlist dedicated to the No Grit Bin. So I will link that at the end. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.